All right, picture this. It's 10 p.m., you're on your third cup of coffee, and you've been making study notes for the past four hours. As a cloud learner, you're studying for the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam. There's about 47 browser tabs open, from AWS documentation to white papers, blog posts, and of course, my zero to cloud study notes. Your table is covered with half scribbled notes that won't ever be looked at again. Okay, my point is, I've been in this exact situation way too many times. I would try so hard to absorb all this technical info, but still not feel prepared for the exams. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I completely stopped writing study notes and how I found a much better approach to self-study technical content. Okay, first things first, let's talk about the problem with traditional note taking, especially for tech learners. When you're learning something like AWS, Kubernetes, or any technology, you're dealing with massive amounts of information. There are so many services to learn, so many use cases to memorize, and so many scenarios out there. Most people think that if they just make enough notes, they will eventually remember everything. But when it comes to tech, that's rarely true. Now, hands-on projects and labs can significantly help you understand technical concepts better, but there are still important information that you need to visualize and drill into your brain. For example, the structure of a three-tier web architecture or the five pillars of the AWS World Architecture Framework. So instead of drowning in pages of notes, what if you could just focus on the content concepts that actually matter and try to remember them through visual reminders. Which brings us to a better way of studying, and that is through a process called Active Recall. Now, Active Recall is something I mentioned a few times already on this channel. It's pretty much the process of pulling information from your memory without relying on your notes or passive review. So instead of rereading the same documentation or watching the same tutorials, it's about testing or understanding by explaining the concepts in your own words. But here's where it gets interesting. I used to manually create slide decks to practice this, which would take me hours. At one point, I even tried to build my own flashcard system with Notion and ChatGPT prompts. But then again, it was just too time consuming. And so I'd like to introduce you to something I've been using for almost a year now that has completely changed the way I approach my learning. And it's this AI tool called Gamma. Now, I've mentioned Gamma before in a previous video, but I want to share with you an updated walkthrough because they've recently released something called Gamma Agent. It's pretty much like a co-pilot and assistant to help you build incredible presentations and slide decks. Instead of just formatting the slides for you, it can now do things like research, pull information, and build study materials. And once you have those slides, you can use them for active recall, so you can test yourself by explaining each concept without looking at the details. Let me hop onto my computer now to show you what I mean. All right, so here's the interface of Gamma. You can see that I already have a few slide decks created, and I'm going to walk you through very quickly how to create one of your own so that you can get started with creating study slides. Click on create new. You can choose between pasting in some text, generating from a one-line prompt or importing your own files. What I'm going to do is import a file and choose my cloud practitioner study notes. So I'm going to add this in, wait for it to upload, and I can choose between a presentation, web page, document, or a social. So of course, we're going to go with presentation, click on continue. You can choose the amount of information that you want your slides to have, and we can choose a theme for our slides. So let's click on Nova and then image source. You can actually choose to have it either as stock images, web images, AI images, and so on. Okay, let's click on generate. Here are my study notes, by the way. It's in a PDF form, but as you can see, it's not very easy to read. So let's see what Gamma can come up with. Cool, so we can actually see it being generated in real time. You can see the text being typed out and in a few moments, these slides will be ready. Okay, the slides have finished generating. Straight away, you can see that the theme is very beautiful, but let's look at the actual content. So starting off with cloud computing fundamentals, it lists all the key features of what cloud is and also the cloud service models. It's pretty much taking what I have in my cloud practitioner study notes and then compiling it together in a really nice and visual format. Looking quite good. There's the compute services, database services, and content delivery, pricing models, and so on. So this slide deck is 10 pages long, but here's where it gets interesting. If you go on the top right, you'll be able to see an agent feature. So I'm going to click on open agent, and I can say something like, add five more slides to my presentation. Click on enter, and now it's going to create the five slides for me. What's really cool about the agent feature is that Gamma now goes beyond just creating slide decks. You can talk directly with the agent and it sort of acts like your own personal co-pilot, helping you do things like research, adding slides, changing the theme, and so much more. So let's take a look at the five new slides it created. 
identity and access management, monitoring and logging, migration strategies, and finally at the bottom, some AWS Cloud Practitioner exam prep advice. But as you know, everyone's understanding of AWS will be different. So for example, I might personally find it hard to identify the difference between the AWS database services. In this case, what I can do is ask Gamma to create a new slide that compares the major AWS database services. By entering prompts like this, I can customize my learning to make it more effective for Active Recall so that every time I look at this comparison table, I'll be reminded by the differences of the AWS services. If you're a cloud learner or someone studying technical topics, I would highly recommend coming up with your own set of visual notes with Gamma. You actually don't have to have a existing set of study notes, by the way. I'm going to show you how to create these slides from scratch. But before I do that, let me show you one more quick feature that Gamma has. So what you can do is actually create your own cloud portfolio where you showcase your own projects. You can publish it. And then once you publish it, you'll be given a link. If you don't want to build your own portfolio website from scratch, this is what you can use. Now, let me show you how you can create your own study slides from scratch, but also ensuring that the information is detailed and accurate. So let's click on create new. This time we're going to just use a one line prompt. I want to learn about AWS to help me become a solutions architect. Okay, create study slides for me and then click generate. It's created an outline for me, which I can customize. So for example, if I want more information on the security best practices, I can say something like add more detail here and then click generate again. Nice, so here's our slide being generated. It seems to be exactly what we're looking for, right? So a guide to becoming a solutions architect and the key concepts to study on. Now, one issue that you might have faced through tools like ChatGPT is that sometimes the information is not entirely accurate or up to date and the AI might hallucinate. So in this case, what you can do is click on agent, type in reference, up to date AWS documentation to ensure all facts and figures are accurate. While that runs, I also wanted to include accurate information from AWS reference architectures and career blogs. Make slide length 30 so that we get a more comprehensive guide. Okay, so I've just waited a few minutes for the slides to finish generating. It took a bit of time because I expanded these slides into 30 slides and got it to annotate all of the information for me. So for example, if we go onto the AWS War Architecture Framework, you can see here that the source is now from the AWS War Architected Framework documentation, uh, the November 2024 revision. You know, just a few years ago, the War Architected Framework only had five pillars. It didn't have this sustainability pillar. But now that we have the slides referencing all the up-to-date information, then it means that our slides are also accurate. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the slides. Wow, okay, so there's two resources being referenced here. And from memory, maybe we can go back into the video and check this, but I think these regions and availability zones, the number has actually been updated after referencing it. Because as you know, that's one limitation of AI. If you just ask it to generate something without actually referencing, the information could be wrong. So it's good that we asked it to reference AWS stocks. As you can see, this is much better than writing boring study notes and it's actually much faster as well. If you'd like to do anything like add a graph, add a comparison table or a visual diagram, Gamma makes it really easy for you. And you can actually also share this with your friends and family. In fact, what I did was I typed in customize this slide for an eight year old. And there you go. It came up with a pretty interesting analogy of making your computer games run super fast. And if you look closer into these points, it's actually quite relatable to someone who's eight. I guess now with the help of AI, there's no minimum age you can start learning tech. Okay, so that was a walkthrough of how I use Gamma and its agent feature to completely transform my technical studying. The agent handles all the boring stuff like research, organization, and note-taking so that you can focus on what actually matters, which is understanding and retaining all of the knowledge. Now, if you want to try it out for yourself, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Let me know in the comments what you're currently studying and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.